Hello, and welcome back to our, I don't know, mini car. Now, I had two servos on there. Now, I've added two LEDs, eyes or headlights, whatever you want. Um, you notice that I've got both servos plugged in here. You know, we can daisy chain them. But the way I've got the servos attached, that the plugs for the, the other plug that I would daisy chain from is kind of in a bad place that that might be a pinch problem for the wires um so i didn't daisy chain them but that's not a big deal because i've got ports on the back that we can plug into which is fine for the other side um which works and then i did daisy chain these two right all right so we've got Eyeballs or lights? Take your pick. So I've got a thing running. And now I want the lights. Ah, oh, we've got uh, all sorts of choices. We've got blink. Oh, no LED is connected because I have not, I have turned my robot off and back on. So it's connecting. It sees two servos, sees two lights. Boom. Now we got something. Um, it can do all sorts of emoji kind of things in different colors, which is nice. Uh, I don't know. Take your pick. Uh, so that was which... Oh, I haven't told it which LED to do that to. Again, they've got numbers on them, right? Um, apparently I put them upside down from each other. Yes, I did. How do I know that? Well, because there is this notch right there, which happens to be right there. Okay. So, failure on my part. It'll still work, though. Um, so, this is number one, and that's number two. So, that's fine. So, we're going to do ID one for that. Yes. But then we also want to make uh, the light two do something. Um, let's go. We wanted wiper, pink. And remember that when we are testing, I'm going to change this. When we are testing out code, that that block is not attached. That block's not attached to anything. But when I change it. It changes there because we're live. So you can see, oh, yeah, that's what I want. And then we're going to go, I don't know, we'll go happy with screen. How about that? I don't know. Oh, fan. Let's do fan. Okay. So uh, do it three times, completed. All right. So this is going to happen three times. So my wait time. Now I gotta decide, what, do I really want that? If I put that there, it's gonna drive for two and a half seconds and then do that. And then end. But what happens if I take this off? Let's just take the weight off and see what happens. I'm probably gonna run off my table. We'll stop it from doing that. So let's see if the lights go on right away. <laughs> So you could still hear the servos running because there was nothing telling them to stop and they stopped because the program ended. So we'll show you that on here. But you did notice that the lights lit up at, you know, kind of right after the servo started. So you heard it going and now you see that the, the LED is lit up. That means the program's still running and it's doing whatever that block says to do. And now we're done. So that's the, that's the logic kind of thing. Uh, do you want it to keep running even after the lights are done? We have to hit that. Right, so we're done. Now the one light pattern works last longer. 
Okay, light patterns are off, but now it's going to go another two and a half seconds. So there's the logic that you got to start playing with. What do you want to happen and when do you want it to happen? Kind of thing. Um, you could, we, you know, putting the lights first would do something slightly different. The lights would start, well, let's see what happens. Let's put the lights first. All righty. Are you ready? Lights first. So the lights are happening, but no motors yet. Ta-da! Then the motors worked. I'll tell you why. It's that word right there. Completed. We need to change that. It's a meanwhile. Now watch what happens. This is what I mean by you got to just play with your code and try different things. See how it went? Why did it go so quickly? Well, here's why it went so quickly. Watch, watch it as it goes through the code. Bam, starts that and goes right to there and now we're done. Oh, maybe that's why we use wait time on some things. Now let's try this. Lights and movement. So the order you put things matters. So that's the logic you got to play with. Um, fiddle with the options. Again, there are a bunch of different LED options there. Uh, playing with the seven colored lights, making a custom light, custom light for a time. So lots of things to play with and try.